everybody, Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our World of Warcraft classic Let's Play. And we're in Ratchet uh, because I'm going to go down here and do this quest real quick so we can get that out of the way and head up back into Fellwood and finish it off today. Um, it should be at the time that this video is posted, the day before Burning Crusade. <laughs> So I wish everyone a very happy Burning Crusade launch. I hope it is smooth. <laughs> um, I hope everyone has fun. How, how to get there? Probably over here. Um, yeah, be good to one another. Out there, share your mobs. <laughs> Group up if you need to. Yeah, it's exciting. I, we have four more levels before we'll be able to take that on so we won't get there right away oh but it shouldn't be too much longer i'm hoping today we get at least halfway through 54 uh if we get a little bit further that would be fantastic and i would also like to wrap up fellwood and get into winter spring and at least get the flight path maybe take on a few of the quests um but i've been thinking maybe we should head to the plague lands start doing some stuff out there how does one get on top of this mountain do I have to get on top of it? well hopefully <laughs> ah okay but yeah we've got plans we're gonna have no shortage of quests I don't think so corrupt moonwell water walk with you. oh walk with you okay here I come Ow, I set myself on fire. Spirits of water, I give you praise and I beg of you a favor. You have heard my dull says, please. And I trust her intent is noble. Please, will you aid us? Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Oh my god, do I have to fight you? You're speaking in tongues. Are you about to blast me? Thank you, great spirit. Thank you. Kalima. <laughs> like that from uh, Indiana Jones. And he rips out the guy's heart. Hey, do you have another quest for me? Okay. Turn to Fellwood. Greta Mosshoof. Okay. Well, we can go back and just fly back up to Fellwood. Turn both these in. Cool. Easy peasy. So if I'm singing along to music, it's because uh, my dad is upstairs playing the piano <laughs> and I am watching the OBS and you guys actually can't hear it, but I can. The song that I know how to play on the piano as well. I think it's called The Swan. I forget who wrote it I or where it's from. It's just a very nice, relaxing song to play. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Except our piano needs tuning, so it's, there's there's also that that happens. It's a very old piano. I started. I took piano lessons when I was. Gosh, I want to say elementary school through maybe middle school. I don't think I went into high school money, with piano lessons. I do. Which Hurry one back. do we want to fly to? I do. Sometimes wish I'd kept up with it. Okay. Talk to me. Cause I I enjoy I enjoy playing the piano, but I'm not I'm not like good at it or anything. I actually got the piano book that from Lord of the Rings, <laughs> which is that one's very fun to play. The Rohan music is really nice. Um. <laughs> and also the. Uh, Shire music is very nice to play as well. Um, and then I also have a Disney song piano book. And some of the stuff I play out of there is Baby Mine from Dumbo, which is a completely random song, but 
I was going to learn the entire book and I started in, you know, alphabetical. <laughs> and that one was the one that stuck. And then I can play um, the Cruella de Vil one. Cruella de Vil. That one's fun to play, but I am not good at it at all. And then the other piano book that I got that I, is super hard, but uh, really fun to... There's two other ones. One is a John Williams piano book. It has like the Jaws theme, Star Wars, uh, all basically if you think of John Williams, any song that he has. And then one is an Andrew Lloyd Webber book. And you can imagine how hard that one is. <laughs> so it's just like, uh, I think the two that I, I try to play one from Phantom of the Opera. And then some from Cats. And then, uh, gosh, what's the other big one that I tried to play out of that? I can't remember. But yeah, so I I, I dabble. <laughs> I dabble on the piano, but I, I do wish I had kept up with it. I just I just stopped. I you know it there there comes a point where you think you like you're as good as you're gonna get. <laughs> That's what I had in my mind is I'm not gonna get any better at this, so why I don't know why bother, so but I could have. You never know. I could be a professional pianist right now, you know? Playing in the symphony. I doubt it. I highly doubt that, by the way. <laughs> but you never know. Maybe you could play some more difficult songs. I also like uh, Fur Elise is my go-to song. That's the one I only one that I have bits of it memorized. Everything else I need sheet music. And the other thing with sheet music is I, I can't read sheet music very well. I like on the spot, it takes me a while. So I have to write the letters in there and then that helps me go a little bit faster when I'm trying to spot play. But for the most part, I do not consider myself a piano player, just dabble. I just dabble. I'd be curious to see if you guys play any in instruments. Uh, and if you do, what do you play? I, it always uh, impresses me when people bring out, yeah, I play the saxophone or the clarinet or I don't know what else is out there. <laughs> like, that I was in marching band in, in high school, so I, I was in the color. Let me, <laughs> let me refer that. I was in the color guard in marching band, so I didn't actually play an instrument, but I twirled flags. That was no joke. Uh, you think you just stand there with the flag and wave it around, but man, not our color guard. I came home with so many injuries. I busted my nose. Because we, we threw a... Uh, we twirled flags, and then one year we twirled um, briefcases and this like large PVC pipe. And it sounds silly, but it looked really cool out there. And then uh, we did a saber routine, which is... They're not real sabers. It's just a piece of metal with a bunch of rubber wrapped around it, so you don't like slice off your arm and then um we had rifles and again they're not real rifles it's a block of wood shaped like a rifle it has the strap and everything so you get that slapping strap sound when you hit it um the rifle was my biggest injury <laughs> i threw it up in the in the air and lost it in the sun it came down and on my face so <laughs> can imagine you wish to speak. imagine how that went and how it felt and what it looked like, so... <laughs> okay, we got this. Color Guard is also... It was really fun. I, I really enjoyed being in Color Guard. It was a lot of work, though. Definitely a lot of work, and took up a ton of time. But it was worth it. I think... I, I didn't join my freshman year, but sophomore, junior, and senior year, I joined the Color Guard. Sophomore year, we got third place. Junior year, we got first, and then uh, senior year, we got second in states, which is pretty darn good. Um, what a, what's this? Corrupted soul shine, painted vitriol. Okay, uh, I will, I don't think that's something I'm going to be doing. <laughs> All right, well. Okay, let's fly up to the other 
zone, and then we'll turn this in. How are we doing? We're almost halfway there. We did a lot of running around getting that done first. And now that that's out of the way, we can focus on this and then come up here and kill the rest of these and head into winter spring and we should be all set. Uh, uh, uh. Let me you go here? up here. <laughs> Dad's jamming out upstairs. It's nice. Nice to hear him play. I don't know what song he's playing right now, though. Some classical one. I spent our point, right? Yeah. We are all set to go. How's our arrows? Pretty good. Right, let me put those here. Um, I still didn't sell that... That, um... Oh, I can't think of it. I have to use this, right? I still didn't sell that warmonger sword that I got uh, when we were in BRD so I put it back on the auction house it price keeps going down and down I don't think anyone wants to buy it right now everyone I mean why would you you why would you buy it now if you're just gonna replace it you know your first run into hellfire <laughs> man those look like death knight what are those shoulders dreadnought pauldrons is that a warrior? The warrior, right? Yeah. Hmm. That's the dreadnought. That. Cool. Is that like the highest tier warrior one? It looks awesome. Uh, where do you? How do you suppose you get to these braziers? Oh boy. Well, since I'm supposed to be standing on top of it right now, I'm gonna assume that it is below. That's not a cave entrance. Okay. Yeah. Within the shadow hold. What this? Is this the shadow hold? No, shrine of the deceiver. Where's the shadow hold? Oh, there's another. Okay, there's another cave up here. You're gonna fight us. You are. Shadow hold. Where is it? Okay. Up into the right. Ah. I'm assuming this is it. Shadow hold. Okay. Uh, eight. Are you good? Okay. Here we are to extinguish some fires. Someone is down here and has killed a bunch of stuff. Great for us. Maybe not on the way out. A locked cage! It's in there. Can I open it? It's a night elf. Okay. Don't wish this. Okay. There should be another one up here. 
Uh-huh. Good, I wanted to fight something. Okay. Anguish this one. Thorium and Mithril. Hopefully we'll get the Mithril, but I don't think we're What? A gnome! Kind of an odd <laughs> Jaden R. <laughs> Bad guy, a gnome. Yes, Jaden R. Gnomes, no boundaries. <laughs> I crack myself out. The last time I checked, so let's see. It's, if this is 235, we're close. Dang it. <laughs> that, that hurts my feelings. Alrighty, we're gonna go further into here, and the problem is we're gonna have to fight our way back out. Oh, hello, everybody! Friends! Hi, right, friend, if you were gonna get this. Uh, interrupt you here. Two thirty-two. Perfect. Ape is getting unhappy. We're gonna have to feed him a mushroom. Fed, and then we'll go extinguish this. Okay, and then one more. Hello. Get this one over here. Looks like I should be able to click on that, and I'm mad that I can't. Alright. Good. Hello, friend. Okay, have fun. We'll fight our way out of here. I'm gonna do some, um, leapfrogging. Killing these guys on the way out, huh? <laughs> Oh, what the heck? Are you fireballing me. Okay. So I think uh, in the last episode I talked about the mage that I made. Uh, I didn't play her at all. <laughs> <laughs> since uh since I talked about her um I'm still in the guild still you know having fun and still a plan to for that to be the main that I play and do some raiding stuff in uh burning crusade but uh a lot of stuff has happened that has kept me from playing or having the motivation to play wow uh nonstop a couple of it is work a couple of it is I lost some recordings that I had to catch back the, the series back up to and by starting over. Which is, ugh. And then, uh, got my second vaccine shot. I've been mostly okay. I had a sore arm and then, uh, this is the second day after. And, uh, just achy. Just real achy. But... Nothing too bad, so it's it wasn't bad at all. 
I can handle a little soreness and achiness. And then, yeah, and just what kind of lost motivation on the mage for a little bit, but that that tends to happen with me in WoW. Is I'll go real hard <laughs> for like a weekend or or a couple weeks at most, and then I'll be like, uh, okay, <laughs> I've had my fill for like a month, and then I'll come back. <laughs> We do turn this in up here, right? No. We turn it in down. Um, well, if that's the case, I don't want to fly down and back up and whatnot. So let's head up uh, towards Timber Maw Hold. There's just bad guys everywhere. Can't get there from here. I'm gonna get dismounted and then I'm gonna be mad. Um, we'll go to Timber Maw, we'll go into Winter Spring and then we can fly down and turn that in when we get there. Stitch Kitty. 60 Paladin. Blood Elves. Y'all did it. Proud of everyone. <laughs> For getting to 60 in, what was it, like two weeks? You have you like two weeks to get there? Okay, we'll stop and do this one on the way. So, one Den Watcher, two Avengers, a Shaman. Shouldn't be too bad. What is- where's this one? Take the Deadwood Ritual Totem inside Timbermaw Hold and see if one of the Frobogs... Uh, we'll find it. The Timbermaw will not speak with you. Mm, so I can pass through, no problem, but I can't talk to them. Unless I'm neutral, which I think... I'm tracking here. I think at the next one makes us neutral, maybe? Possibly. We'll see. Man, we stopped and had, um... Arby's today for dinner because uh, we it, it's Memorial Day weekend so tomorrow we're grilling out we're having steaks and goodness and stuff so today it was like well what do you want to eat <laughs> today sort of thing and we finished off some really good bean soup that my mom made and then uh, for dinner we went to Arby's <clears throat> and I, I was eating the sandwich and I was like you ever get that feeling when you're eating something and you just know just from the taste, or just something about it. <laughs> You're like, this This is gonna be painful later. <laughs> that's, what, that's the that's the impression that that Arby's food gave me. It was good, but it was... There's just something sometimes where you bite into something and... Like, yeah. This is gonna be pretty... a, a gross night. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. So far, so good, but we shall see. I was tempted to get one of their root beer floats, but I've been eating a lot of snack stuff today, so I was holding off. One of those, I have a three-day weekend, so it's like, oh, why, why not just eat a bunch of food <laughs> while, you're, <laughs> while you're at home doing nothing? So we didn't have really a whole lot planned just to grill out. Right, we should be getting close. Okay. These guys will be on the left of us, so maybe get beyond this little mountain here. Okay. Let's see what we've got going on with the uh, 
Avenger shaman who's an Avenger speaking of. Hey friend. Da, 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 da. Okay. You're going around killing. You guys are either doing the quest or grinding. Another Avenger. Okay, Den Watcher. Let's go those guys. Oh, we're gonna chain pull. All right, cool. Get one of these. Well, that finished it up real fast. <laughs> Ooh. Do this. Oh, we got it done. I think they might be grinding out the uh, reputation. So I have no problem leaving them. They, they, I can handle that. No problem. Two paladins, come on. Come on, that's a, uh, come on. That's a, <laughs> um, AOE farm waiting to happen. If they both have consecrate. Which, it, it, did consecrate become a, uh, like something you don't have to spec into in Burning Crusade? Or is it still a, on the tree? I actually don't know. I, which is funny because I, I grew up as a paladin. <laughs> I was gonna say no, I, that paladin was my main in Burning Crusade. I leveled as a holy paladin, which was absolutely terrible. Okay. Ooh, that one's not bad, but I like the one we have on better. This probably sells for more. Speak to Selfa. Okay. Wait, do I have enough feathers to turn in? I do. Do I have more? No. <laughs> Alright, well, we did one. Oh, that helped out a lot. Let's put this on. Alright, making our way downtown. <laughs> Am I going the wrong way? It goes around, right? Yeah, okay. I was like, wait a sec. I'm going up when I should be going to the right. But it curves. It curves up here. Someone didn't make it through. Someone killing their way through? Like, don't do that, bud. gonna put you way behind hello hey hello selfa all right we've got a new quest out here level 58 huh <laughs> What level are they out here? Now this is a change of scenery. <laughs> They're 55? Why is it a level... 58 quest? Mmm, Winterfall Firewater. Mm. Okay, we'll make our way through this and then that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> it's like, oh god, something's happening. Okay, go get the 
I don't need that one. Where are these guys? Oh, they're spread all the way through, so. Got it. Kill what we can. We still get feathers over here. Okay, now I don't need totem guy. Um, and I, in fact, am going the wrong <laughs> way to turn in whatever quest that is. So let's go. Cool, can I make that my pet? <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, I could get a polar bear. Ape, you know, you're looking less and less cool as we... <laughs> He's like, what the hell? What's that mean? <laughs> Say that to my face. Man, I know Ravagers are like... Oh, they're the most, most DPS, but it's... What if I don't want to do a Ravager? Okay, we got that one done. Whoops. LinkedIn thing, okay. Please follow me. Wait! You had more quests for me! I haven't really figured out what it is, but there's something strange about the hot springs. Plus is a sword in the pool. I found that when I throw something into this water, it has improved incredibly when I retrieve it. Well, whatever it is, it works quite well. Wait, do I get a six sword from you? Now I'm determined to find out more, so if you need my help again, you know where I'll be. How are you? Watch your back. Great to meet you. What, are, good. what is this? Like, <laughs> I don't even get a cool sword from that. Okay, we got tons of stuff. Here. Now I do need those totem guys. I think first, we'll continue along the path and kill anything that gets in our way. So we can get out here, pick up quests out here, and then it's winter spring time. I think I asked this before and I didn't look it up, but there's a, um, a tiger that you can get from out here. At least as a alliance. Can I get that as a... <laughs> as a horde or no? Or was that not in classic? I actually don't know. I know I got it on... Someone. Uh, I don't know if I got it after Cataclysm, before, during Vanilla. I, I don't remember. I just remember there's, yeah, found a cat. You can go around feeding it. You get rep, you grind, and then you get a mount out of it. I don't know if that's, um, I feel like everyone would be riding that cat if it was here. So maybe it's not in classic. I don't know. Literally 60. Am I too low for this zone? Like, should I go to the Plague Lands instead of here? Oh, we met our goal halfway. Oh. Wow. Oh, Stitch Kitty. What, I've seen them before. No, we saw them running through Fellwood. That's where I've seen them. I was like, oh, Stitch Kitty. I know that one. I know that name. Get 
get there. Let's see. Ever look? Mount Hygel. What do you think this is? Which one was Mount Hy Cataclysm, right? Mount Hygel? Human shaman. I think that guy was wearing a disguise. <laughs> it just clicked to me. Hey, wait a second. Human shaman. Alright. Now the horde flight path. Sable master there. Good to know. Good to know. It's over here. Good. Now we can fly out here. Right? Wait, is this the one where... I remember watching like a Barney video or something where it was like... No, oh, okay. He didn't have like some weird flight path so he couldn't fly out here? Like Moonspring or something? What's the one where the druids go? <laughs> Is it Moonspring? I don't think that's what it is. <laughs> Welcome, friend. Are we there? Yeti. Oh, yeah. I remember that quest. Okay. Jessica Red... Wait. Jessica Redpath. How do I know her? Jessica Redpath. Mm, I think she's a... Yeah, that's definitely a Plague Lens quest. See you later. You need something? See you around. Her name is really familiar. Jessica Redpath. Go pick up this. What brings you here? Perfect. Okay, now we've got tons of stuff to choose from. <laughs> Let us go out and just start killing, I suppose. Well, let me first, because this one we don't need. Daryl Shire, let's take that one off. This, we can keep that. I keep, yeah, we can keep that and that. Good. Eco Gregan Bruce, we're in Northern Feralis. We're in Hymir, acquire the Vidir Elixir. Does this lead to something cool, like an uh, uh, epic or something? <laughs> Oh, the arms. Over the book. But he's in spirit speaking. Okay. These all lead me to the plague lands. Okay. So these are actually the quests that we can do now out here. Um, so let's go up. This way. Abundance of stuff up here on the map. Don't need the owl. Aha! Yetis and wildkin. And they are R. I don't need these feathers right here. I wonder what that's for. They're R level, so. Tis good. Tis good. Oh. Well, hello, sir. This only lasts 10 seconds, I believe. Yep, but that was just enough time for us to kill the other guy. see how what my timer said so I would like to go turn in the quest that we had to turn in back in Bellwood first before we get started out here 
So one of them took me here. Right? Yes. Let's turn this in. Cool. Kim Jae Oh, that's out in Ashara. What does the Plague Lands look like right now? Oh, that's how I. I red the Red Path quest is actually a really cool one. Uh, where this whole like village down here is burned, and you have to find like the pieces of the doll. Was that before Cat or after? That's a cut. I like that one. I I do. Okay, so I mean we could go to Eastern Plague Lands. Western Plague Lands should be ripe for us then. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna run out of quests at all. Uh, especially the little XP boost and rusted experience. Yeah, we'll we'll get there pretty quick. It's just a matter of doing them now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so when the pre-patch came out, I will say this now, that when the pre-patch came out, the server I'm on, Westfall, nope, Mancrick, was, um, the queue was insane for a pre-patch. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm expecting when BC comes out that the queue is going to be pretty nutty. So there's a chance that we might miss a couple episodes during Burning Crusade week. Just because it's going to be really hard to get on. Um, and I, I don't have like two or three hours to sit around in a queue waiting. So uh, just a heads up on that is there might not be any WoW videos other than this one because it's it's prior to, but I'll try to get a couple recorded ahead, so maybe we won't run into that, but we shall see. So just heads up on that. I, I was worried about that. I feel like the queue is going to be pretty nutty. Probably the first week of Burning Crusade. I really hope it's a smooth launch, though. I've stopped watching, uh, like, news, new, quote-unquote news and videos about people's opinions on the Burning Crusade classic because I feel like I'm excited about it and... When I watch those things, it's like, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's bad that they added a boost, or it's bad that they added a, you know, a collector's edition. I get it. And and then it's, like, it kind of, like, sways me a little bit. So I'm not going to watch them anymore and just, you know, I'll just enjoy it. <laughs> that's, that's, I'm excited to play it. I'm excited to level. I'm excited to run some dungeons. Excited to do some heroic dungeons. Like, it's going to be a good time. Now, the good thing is, I don't think we will be, like, hard on finding a group for heroics. How may I aid? Maybe people don't want to bring a hunter, but... Mora Celia. Ooh. Mm, I say ooh, but... Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, it's leather, but... Ancestors, watch over you. Alrighty. Well, I think with that, just a, nope, not an in. I need to log out at a, at an in. <laughs> uh, but I think with that, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Uh oh. And when we come back, we might do this quest now that we're here. Uh, or just go out in winter, spring, and and do stuff. Uh, it might be a little quicker just to do a bunch of quests at once. Then come back and clean up later. 
Um, but guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the World of Warcraft Classic Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye everyone.